once I decide which grading company I want to go with, how do I know if a card is worth sending? Like, how do I know if I'm going to get that return on that dollar? So if a card is worth sending, uh, I always do, what I always do is I think about the worst case scenario. So say I want to send in a card to PSA. Uh, I'm going to look at the card and I'll say, well, what's the lowest possible grade I think the card will get? Uh, if the price point for that card, if I'm looking to make a profit, if I'm looking to sell, if I'm looking to just to seal it, then that's fine. But if I'm looking to resell it once it's graded, I want to see what the lowest amount uh, this grade will be and price point. And I can do that by looking at their population report, which is right in uh, uh, PSA's database. I think Beckett has one as well. Uh, I'm not really sure about the other ones. I know GMA does not have a database. Uh, the um, little codes on the back aren't really for anything. I said, I think it just takes you to the website. Uh, but yeah, so if you see that even when it's uh, the lowest grade that you think you can possibly get, um, and it's still giving you a profit, then absolutely, yeah, I, I think you should send it in uh, and try to get that profit. So it's worth time looking at those population reports then? Uh, absolutely, if you, if you think you have a card that can benefit from uh, getting it graded. If I'm still undecided on which company to send my cards to, because maybe price isn't an issue for me as far as sending it out, what are the differences between each company? Like, what do they offer? So uh, you want to look at what each, again, different companies offer different things. They obviously all offer grading. Um, with well more known companies like BGS or PSA, they usually spending more means faster turnaround times and... Uh, higher end cards usually cost more to grade because they have to insure them for a lot more. I believe all of this is explained on their website. Uh, again, though they, I don't think I mentioned it. I will leave links to PSA Beckett, uh, a few of the other grading companies right in my description below. You can check that out and it will send you right there, uh, for extra information if you need it. Um, so I'm just looking at the script here that I have. Lesser known company, lesser known companies uh, usually. Sorry, I just have little notes. It's not like yeah. Uh, lesser known companies tend to offer much faster turnaround times for a better price point. Uh, in order for them to be able to keep keep up with the uh, more bigger companies like Beckett or PSA. Uh, another quick tip I could offer is that BGS uh, offers subgrades. Uh, I I don't have that on my Peyton Manning right here. You don't have to. I don't believe you have to get it, but you can get subgrades. Uh, while PSA does not offer it, uh, and it's all basically a matter of what you want, uh, i.e. if you really wanted to, you could always go SGC, which I prefer. I don't prefer them, but I do love their uh, sleeves, their Ooh, slabs, nice. because they have what's called the tuxedo. Uh, it's the black and white. Uh, so that is absolutely my favorite looking slab. But uh, that's if that's one way you want to go and all you care about is what it looks like, then do that route card really pops on the tuxedo packs i think like the tuxedo packaging you can see the card a lot yeah i think so too um can i just ask you one thing i just wanted to give a quick tip yeah, before uh so basically when you're sending stuff in uh before i get into actually looking at your cards and seeing what you should send and whatnot uh you will be paying for both shipping to and from these grading companies uh they're not paying that shipping so anytime you uh are sending it in make sure you account for the shipping both ways and usually they'll their shipping that they charge for whatever it is is going to be on their website and then you can also contact your uh, post office or uh, whoever you want to send to and you can kind of get an idea of how much it'll cost depending on how fast you want stuff to get there uh, but definitely put that in to your price point when you're com comparing to see what your profits will be after the fact of selling the cards uh, of course, if you live in the same city, um, that doesn't matter. You, most most companies will have, even with COVID right now, they do have in-person drop-off. And that's you can still choose what you want, but you'll just literally just drop it off there. That's cool. Sorry, the question that I had before you move on. Yeah. Um, for noobs like me, what do you mean by subgrades? Uh, subgrades are uh, usually like Beckett. Uh, we'll look at surface centering corners and edging and that'll i guess that's a good little segue into my next part thank you for that it's ba uh, basically a, a, we're gonna go into taking an actual look at the cards 
So they list those little details on their tag on the Yes. Part? So okay. usually they'll do it right here. Okay. And it'll say like centering, edges, corner, and surface. Okay, so when you look at it, it you can see categorically Yes. Like your where they were grading what they were Yes. Okay. And uh the way they do it, uh they do talk about it on their website. It's not exactly how you would think it is or I would think of it is. It's yeah. not an average of the nine points. It's not an, like it's like if it's a 9.5, it's not an average of that. Okay. You could still get a nine and still get like a lower grade in certain in a certain area. Okay. Um, it's just the way they base it. So it's more, cool. yeah, it's, it's their grading system. I would definitely look more into that. If you guys are interested, whoever's interested, actually just go right on their website. Again, linked below. Take a look at that. Like that would be a good guide as to like to kind of get to know your cards and know what they're looking for which i guess we're going to talk about next yeah so i'm going to talk about uh making sure that you're uh take a look at your cards basically whenever you're looking at a card look at it uh under a strong light i don't want i don't have mine on i do have a stronger uh light bulb in this room as you can see oh sorry that's the, this one has the i have different examples of what to look for but you can see Anytime you shine a bright light on the card, you can see any imperfections and you want to take a look at the front and the back. An even better option, if you want to do what the pros do, is use a magnifier and actually see any imperfections that you might have actually missed uh, otherwise. Uh, yeah, and most companies, they do have a walkthrough of how they grade your cards on the website. Uh, and I believe me personally, any company that's more open about how they grade, I find more trusting or more uh, reliable than companies who are willing, unwilling to. Hmm. 